Good morning, good morning, saints of God. I want to thank you for tuning in this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Come on in. I want to talk about <clears throat> part two of toxic people. As you begin to come on the broadcast, begin to share this. This is going to bless you and it's going to also help you to better yourself. So like I said, this is part two of toxic people. And today I'm going to give you the giveaway signs of toxic people. There's a lot of times that you know, we feel, people feel drained, they have no energy, they feel very fatigued. Perhaps it's because you have, um, you've, you've been around somebody who's been toxic in your life, who's been negative, and so therefore, what does it do? It begins to drain your enemy, your, your, your energy, excuse me. So number one, the 10 signs of toxic people. Number one, they are very selfish people. They only think about themselves and they don't, and it doesn't matter to them who they hurt. You know, there's a lot of times things that go on a job, things go on in churches, families, relationships. Uh, they will do whatever they can to bring the other person down to get whatever it is that they want and need out of relationship, out of a friendship, whatever. It, it may even, like I said, be on the job. Number two. They've got to be right. They've got to be right all the time. They, they may even know that you're telling the truth, but they will turn around and twist everything to make you and everybody else believe that they are right. It's like there's something on the inside of them that, that can't be wrong. And perhaps for some people, maybe it's because they've always been told you're, you're wrong. And so they've got it in their mind. They've got to be right at everything, everything that they possibly do. Number three, this is a good one. They're surrounded by drama. Have you ever known anybody who surrounds himself around drama? Family events, church events, on jobs, everywhere they go. I don't care if you're at the grocery store. They've got to, they've, they've got to create you hear me? They've got to create some type of drama around them. If there is no drama around them, they don't feel good about themselves. Have you ever known someone like that? You sit down at a restaurant, they begin to do what? They begin to complain about the fork. They complain about, they complain about the spoon. They complain about the food or how the waitress or the waiter treated them. And you're looking like, there's nothing wrong with your fork. There's nothing wrong with your food. There's nothing wrong with the way that the waitress treated you. But in their mind, there's something psychotic going on because they've got to have some type of drama in their life. A lot of times around holidays, you will find that there's always drama. There's always got to be an argument of some kind because they're used to it. And a lot of it is what? It's a learned behavior. Number four, they lie. They got to lie about everything. <clears throat> There's no truth in them. People, you know, I listen to people and I watch the people very, very carefully. And you, you listen to them and you wonder like, you wonder why, why did they just tell this lie? And you know they're lying. Why did they just do that? And it just, boom, it came out of them so easily. Like it was the truth. Watch out for people like that because if they'll lie in any given situation, even when they don't have to, you better believe they will lie about you. Number five, they're very eager, very eager to watch out for people who are very eager to get in a relationship, very eager for position, very eager for titles, very eager, uh, eager for uh, a job. Why are you so eager to do something? It's because they know that they're going to create some type of havoc in the atmosphere. They're eager, eager people. Six, they, I like this one. They always play the victim. They may have caused the situation to happen, but they will still play the victim no matter what to do what? To make themselves feel good. They will always play the victim. <sighs> Woe is me. It's always woe with me. Feel sorry for me. Why? You created the mess. You did this. 
Watch out for people who always play the victim. Seven, they never have a nice word to say about other people. Why? Low self-esteem. They do not feel good about themselves. So this is why they feel the need to put somebody else down or um, create negativity around them. They, 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 if you say, Sister Karen, you sure look nice today. They gonna find something to say about her dress. They got to have something mean and negative to, to say. Number eight, they don't know how to let go. You need to write this down or go back and, and watch the broadcast because I guarantee you, if you're feeling sluggish, if you're feeling fatigued, it's because you are probably hanging around someone who is toxic. They don't let go. They hold on to grudges. They will remember everything you said, everything you did. I don't care if it's 10, 10 15 years ago. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to move on. And if you're in a relationship with someone who don't know how to move forward and move on, I guarantee you, you need to get out of that relationship. They love to harbor on the past. Number nine, they're very evasive. Most people are straight to the point. Want to if you ask them a question, they'll give you the answer. Not evasive people, not people who are toxic. No, they want you to keep fishing. And while you're fishing, trying to get the answer because they want the attention, Okay, they love that attention. Then they maybe they'll decide if they'll give you the answer or not. They're not really concerned in giving you anything. It's all about them. Number two, last but not me, least, they're not nice to other people. They're not nice people. They're hurtful people. They are people who will harm you at any given time. And they might think they're nice, but they're not. So I want you to, I want you to think about these 10 signs of toxic people. And once you really think about these 10 signs, you might need to reevaluate your life and evaluate who you hang around with. And once you do that, I guarantee you, that you will feel so much better. So I just want to say, God bless you. I pray that this has opened your eyes and that you will see more clearly and that you will just decide to move forward. I'm Apostle Dr. Danielle Mitchell and I just want to say God bless you, share the broadcast, share donations to InnisAnointingGlobalMinistries.com.